three million rounds of balance your next martial arts rules in the middleweight division. So introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He enters the cage tonight with a right of the one defeat. Representing Fight Factory, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Zaghi Mante! Standing across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. Tonight enters the cage with a record of one victory. Representing Los Hermos MMA. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Grillo Mutondo. Our referee in charge of the action, Mr. Mick Clement. Referee Mick Clement about to get this one underway. This is actually a light heavyweight contest, just in case uh, you were thinking these two middleweights look rather large for 185 pounds. Ziggy Mantas at Ribinskas, representing Fight Factory training, of course, under former FCC champion Ken Richardson, taking on Gruvel and Matumbo. Matumbo made his MMA debut with us last year on FCC, uh, a big win over a huge heavyweight in Rob Cunningham, so looking to fight closer to his natural weight this time. And uh, Ribinskas wasting no time you can see straight in there with the head kick, straight in there with the with the offense, putting Grivel on the back foot immediately, not letting him get anything away. Yeah, looking to destabilize him early with those kicks to the inside of the leg, and he's used that to make a nice entry here up against the cage, forcing Matumbo onto the back foot early. Looking like he's trying to secure a double leg or a high crotch lift. Really good pressure from Ziggy Mantis right now against the cage and yeah, Tumbo defending well here just having a nice wide base preventing any any decent grip <coughs> around the legs or the waist here yeah, I think he's having a really good uh, a lot of success uh, changing levels up and down keeping his man guessing not sure what he's going to do next and Matumbo came in very light for that heavyweight contest last time, so it's not like he's having to do a massive weight here to make 205 pounds. He's probably a natural light heavyweight anyway. Maybe even a natural middleweight. If it looks a lot more at home outside of the heavyweight division for sure. Body shot there from Rubinskus. Janaid Ebanks, Aaron Pierre in the corner as well, both veterans of FCC. Where you can definitely see the wrestling coming to play when you have a man like Kevin, uh, Kenneth Richardson in the corner. A serious pressure. Even in his opponent's corner, he looks far, far at home uh, in Grivels is right now. Yeah, Matumbo, you know, as well as the uh, the size disadvantage last time against Cunningham, very different kind of fighter. Cunningham, a guy who wants to brawl out the feet, and obviously he's facing a guy here who wants to shut him down and grind against him. And you can see that's definitely the game plan so far. Matumbo is getting no success away. Constantly pinned up against the cage. I'd like to hear a little bit more from Matumbo's corner, to be honest, in terms of you know, barking some instructions out to the man here. Yeah, he's been put into deep waters here. Uh, he Ziggy Mantis looks a lot more at home in these exchanges. Looking for a big right hand, just staggered his man there, more knocking him off balance though, than, than catching him with anything clean. Matumbo in the southpaw stands here, using that kick to maintain distance. Those leg kicks are really starting to take a toll now. I don't know how many more of those he can take over the course of this round and the fight. Really nice takedown. Yeah, beautiful trip takedown straight to mount from Rabinskis here. A very high mount from Rabinskis. You're going to have to be careful. Matumbo doesn't go out the back door here. Looking to pin and punch. Final 10 seconds of the round. Matumbo trying to scramble out the back door. Could be a triangle armbar there. It can be a triangle for mount, but time is up. Big round for Rabinskis there. Completely dominant throughout. Put his man on the back foot from, from the open exchanges really there, Harry. You know, launching those nice kicks, destabilizing him, getting that entry up against the cage. And from then on, it was already one-way traffic uh, in favor of Rabinskis. Matumbo really forced to do nothing more than defend that entire round. Yeah, Matumbo couldn't get anything away. It's really good pressure. You could tell it was the game plan coming into this fight now for uh, for Ziggy Mantis just to keep the forward pressure on Matumbo, not let him get anything away. I hope his corner instructs him now not to lack so much in the back foot, keep the, keep the pressure on to uh, Rabinskis himself, try and win a round, try and win the second round there, he needs it. You know, there's a big sigh from Matumbo then, you can't always tell everything from body language, but looking slightly forlorn perhaps, 
after a, a, a tough first round, you know, against Cunningham. He was actually able to be on the front foot for a lot of that fight. And, you know, it's such a different physical experience when you're constantly having to defend and constantly having to fight that pressure. So let's hope Matumbo can get a second win here going into this second round against Rabinskas. If they need it otherwise, I'm not sure how much more of this pressure we can take from uh, Rabinskas. Second round underway here at the Bolton Arena. Touch your gloves. Matumbo coming out again in that southpaw stance. Oh, Superman punch there from Matumbo. Nice and often you see something uh, thrown by the heavyweights, but just what we wanted to see, a bit more aggression, a bit more uh, pressing forward from Matumbo. And a quick rotation uh, puts it back in Rubinskis' favour. Yeah, Rubinskis immediately going back to those takedown attempts up against the cage. He seems really at home in this clinch. He looks really comfortable changing levels and tying Matumbo up. If you look at the guys in his corner, you have the likes of Janaid and, and Ken Richardson and, and Aaron Pierre. Yeah, they've employed a very similar style over their careers and had a lot of success with it. So you know he's getting put through the ringer every week in training. Yeah, no doubt the shark tanking is definitely a, a part of their forte. And of course, round two here, Rubinskis has got his opponent in his own corner and you know, we talked about it briefly in the first round Harry there wasn't really a whole lot in the way of instruction coming from the Tumbo's corner but you see a big difference there Ken Richardson and, and Janaid barking instructions to their man and yeah. he gets another big takedown yeah they haven't seemed to have a certain order in their, in their corner team like as, as far as directions go no one's shouting all the time it seems quite clear what it has to do and that's what you need in these situations to second round when you're especially in your early on in your career you need clear instructions for a clear mind and clear that's what it's getting so far this uh, top position is really strong at the minute doesn't look like Matumbo's got much to offer from this uh, Rubinskis again able to step into the mount and again looking for that nice high mount he's looking to pin the arm down there briefly as well so posture's up now and he's going to land some big shots here Matumbo trying to push off the cage and destabilise Rubinskis Rubinskis looking to pick his shots carefully yeah, he's really just taking his time and picking no, no rushing which is really not what you see often from a lot of amateurs oh he's going for a Kimura it's not often you see this sort of calmness from, uh, from top position top mount from a lot of amateurs they try and rush to finish straight away it's just kind of refreshing to see from such a young amateur looking very very confident there just slipping off just pinning Matumbo down with that right knee looking to, to pick a shot and maybe set something up here this step back Matumbo shouting to his corner there, not really sure what's going on with the communication with the corner. Yeah, I don't see this fight lasting uh, too much longer. His communication to his corner suggested he, there wasn't much he could do. Uh, we've been just better watch some shots in the back of the head, but outside of that, this doesn't look like it's going to last too much longer from top mount. No, Matumbo trying to cover up, but referee Mick Clements has seen enough there. Uh, we have talked about it so many times over the years that there's a difference between just putting your hands up to block the shots and what we call intelligently defending yourself you've got to be trying to move you've got to be trying to get out of that position you can't just put your hands over your face and take those shots that's exactly what we saw there Matumbo didn't have any answers to the mount of Rubinskis and Rubinskis just unleashing those heavy hands until the referee called a halt to the proceedings ground and pound 101 yeah, it was really beautiful work from Rubinskis. He just picked his shots nice and clean. He took his time. He does not look fatigued at all. Looks nice and fresh from the first round. Just picked his shots, landed them well. And capitalised where he could and got the finish. Really, really good showing from Rubinskis. Ladies and gentlemen, at a time of 2 minutes, 43 seconds of the second round, your winner by referee stoppage, grounds and pounds, if you in the blue corner, Zygmantis Lipinska! <laughs>